guys, it's Miss Cruz, and today we're going to be learning a part three, which is pyramids. We're going to do the surface area of pyramids today. First, let's talk about what surface area is. If you remember from your previous video, surface area is the sum of the area of all the faces of a 3D figure. And the formula for the surface area of the pyramid, given to you on your star formula chart and right here, is going to be surface area equals one half times P, which is the perimeter of the base, times L, which is the slant height, plus capital B, which is the area of the base. So these are very important things in your formula that you're going to need to remember, so go ahead and take a minute to jot those down in your formula notes. Okay, our first figure is going to be a square pyramid, and you'll notice that it's got five different sides here. We've got a base that's a square, so I'm going to go ahead and draw you a net of this figure. Our base is your basic square, okay? And then we have four triangles on each side of that square, so if we were to open it up, it looks something like this. Okay? And then we can take the information that we have from this figure and just solve our basic knowledge of area for squares and triangles. So for the square, we see that a side is 6, okay? And the formula for area of a square is side squared. So we're just going to take that 6 and we're going to square it. And that's going to give us 36 feet squared for the square, okay? Then we have our triangle, and that's going to be, for triangle, our formula is base times the height divided by 2. So we have 6 times 4 divided by 2, which gives us 24 divided by 2, which gives us 12 feet squared. Okay? Then we need to think about how many triangles do we have here. So we have 4, so we're going to do, we're going to add them together now. The square, which was 36 feet, Okay, now we need to find the area of the triangle, and the areas of the triangle were 12 feet, and we had four of those, so we have four triangles, four times 12, which gives us 48, and we simply add those two together, 48 plus 36, and you've got your total surface area of 48 feet squared, okay? So we could do it this way, and then remember there's always your way with the formula. So if we use the formula, our formula for that was surface area equals one half times the perimeter of the base times the slant height plus the area of the base. So we just need to plug in what we know for these letters. So we have surface area equals one half the perimeter of the base, that's going to be a square, so if we add 6 four times, the perimeter of the base is going to be 24, okay? Then we have our slant height, and the reason it's called our slant height is because when it's not in net form, the height is slanted. So we're not talking about the height of the pyramid, we're talking about the slant height, which is 4 feet. Okay, and this capital B, you always substitute your formula for area in here. So the area of the base, what formula do we use for the area of this base? This is a square, so we're going to use side squared. And that's going to be 6 times 6, which is 36. Okay, and we simply do our math. 1 half, 24 times 4 is 96. Plus 36. And break it down again, and we have... 48 plus 36, and we have our total surface area of 84 feet squared. You see I got the same answer for both methods. All right, now we're going to try a triangular pyramid. So you notice our base is not a square here, it's actually a triangle. So if I want to draw my net, I see that my base is just your equilateral triangle, and off each side, if I open it up, it's 
gonna look like this. So now that kind of helps me break down these numbers to see where they go. So I see that this bottom triangle is eight feet right here and eight feet on this side. Okay, I see that the height of the triangle is nine feet. And I see that the height of the base is seven feet, okay? And this is eight feet here as well. So it kind of helps you to see the numbers when they're laying out flat in a net. Okay, so remember you could solve it that way. You could go through and solve the area of each triangle and add them all up. We're gonna try it with the formula real, real quick. So we have surface area equals one half times the perimeter of the base times the slant height plus the area of the base. That capital B that's why it's capitalized, because that's the entire area of the base. So we have S equals one half. Okay, the perimeter of a triangle, let's just add all three eights together, and we get 24. Okay, the slant height. So we're not looking for the height of the base here. Over here, the height was slanted, so you see that that's where it goes for nine feet, nine feet here. So you could reference back, if you need to draw it out to solve it with the formula, you could do that as well, just to see that that's the slanted height, times nine, plus the area of the base. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug in the formula for a triangle here. Base times height divided by two, okay? So we have one half times 24 times nine, And let's plug in our formula for our triangles. We have base, which is eight, times the height, seven, divided by two, okay? Now let's start simplifying that. Half of 24 is 12, times nine, plus eight times seven is 56, divided by two, getting smaller and smaller. This is going to be 108 plus 28. So now our total surface area is going to be 136 feet squared. All right, now that we've given you one of each pyramid, I want you to try this third example on your own. Come back and see how you did. Go ahead and pause the video. Hopefully you've solved it in one of these two ways. We've got two ways up here to show you. One was using the formula. So here we used our triangular prism, our pyramid, excuse me. And we have the, pyra the perimeter of the base, which was nine yards. Then we plugged it into our formula with a slant height of three, area of base of nine. So then you see here we have one half times nine times three plus nine. And it simplified further down and you ended up with 22.5 yards squared. Then you could come over here, if that was too difficult, you could try it using the net, and we found the area of each triangle. So we just laid it out flat, and we used our knowledge of the formula for area of a triangle, and we just added those up four times. Or we added the three triangles that were the lateral area, and then we added the base, and we have our total here now of 22.5 yards squared. Same thing. Go ahead and take a minute to write your summary for your Cornell notes and feel free to go back and pause in areas that you need more help with. Thanks guys.